this is obviously prototyping, right? This is not formally design anything, but prototyping with this model view controller in mind and trying to demo something meaningful, a meaningful button and meaningful display, a meaningful business object. And so now let's, let's, let's see what we can really do uh, when we say, uh, <clears throat> when inside the controller, we have this button who calls move elevator. And right now we do the silly manipulation with the window, but let's get rid of it. Instead, let's do something that, uh, that uh, would make more sense. Of course, uh, on, in this display, right, so somewhere in this designer, we could have added like a set of radio buttons or some text input where we could say move elevator number one or number two, number three. Right, so we could be more a little bit more specific. But right now, again, because this is just early stages of this demonstration, I will simply be moving just the, the first elevator available. How about that, right? So um, how about this? Let me see. So the controller has access to the elevator bank, and it's called elevator bank, right? Again, boring names, right? So we can say elevator bank. So we just really want to move the elevator. We can say uh, all we all we have here is access to the elevator bank, right? So elevator bank. Uh, we can say uh, get uh, get elevator. I don't have it, but I'm planning to have it. Get elevator, which will give me. Perhaps I need to specify which one. Uh, how about you know internally in software. Uh, it's very natural to count things starting from zero, right? Not, not one, two, three, four, five, but rather zero, one, two, three. And that's how all uh, collections and sequences are typically zero based. So I will just say zero, right? Because zero means first one available. Uh, get elevator zero, and we can say, um, by the way, I already did some interesting stuff here that says move up, right? So expecting that the elevator initially is at the first floor, right? Uh, I can say uh, move up, move up, something like that. A move up. Uh, so I don't have the get elevator, but uh, right now I'm going to actually add it. Get elevator. Go to my elevator bank uh, set of operations, and this is going to be another public. Uh, this time it will return reference to the first elevator in the collection, so therefore it will the return type is actually the elevator, which in Java is a reference to the object. Of course, uh, you know, in uh, in in C or C plus plus, you you would have to use a object reference or a pointer to an object, which adds more syntax to this. But uh, in Java, it's very simple. And this is going to be a get elevator, right? And the parameters, you can see, I, I have to provide the parameter. The parameter will be an integer uh, int, uh, int um, elevator, uh, I don't know, elevator, uh, uh, sequ sequence number, something like that, right? Uh, so again, it's it's sometimes it's 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 a tough choice to 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 make a choice for good variable names, right? So m my uh, tendency is that I keep these um, names uh, kind of longer, and sometimes I come up with better names and and change them to smaller names. But but to begin with, I need to be able to memorize this and uh, when I can keep everything in, in, in head I tend to go with more descriptive names because I could just call it this right something like that uh, but is it really helpful um, sometimes it is sometimes it isn't so for now I'm just keeping it longer names right so elevator sequence number all right all right. So first, I need to go to. Well, I, I guess this can be done di directly with the collection, right? Collection has basically say get, right? Get at position, and this will be the elevator number. So that's actually trivial, right? 
but that's quite normal, right? Uh, because the responsibility of the elevator bank is to uh, maintain and support this collection of elevators. Uh, and uh, other methods such as uh, get elevator could allow us to facilitate the, the communication between the rest of the system and one particular elevator. Okay. So here we say get elevator, let's just save everything, right? And we can move it, right? So moving the elevator is business, right? It's, it's business, but it doesn't help to visualize it. We, we cannot see it. Right? So now we have to kind of vis visualize it. So basically, and by the way, again, uh, the stuff is happening inside the controller. It's the controller that is capable of, apparently right now, finding the elevator and, and, and giving it a command to move to, apparently, to the next floor. So which is also not realistic because uh, elevators typically even in simulation, don't move instantly between floors. It takes time. In fact, simulation of the traffic control perhaps is to keep it realistic so that there are some realistic delays between, you know, between uh, floor one and floor two and so forth. So, but for now, just something, something very, uh, very simple. Okay, so now, uh, so this is uh, something that says update update uh, a business model, right? If the, uh, if the elevator moves, it's an update in, the, in our business model. And now we have to uh, update the view, right? Update the view. We have the view, the view sits inside that window, uh, and uh, we need to update the view. So, um, so I mean, right now we just can go to, uh, to, to an, uh, to see what what we can do, uh, I think I'm going to run out of time pretty soon. So for now, let's just do something uh, trivial and not very attractive at all. Uh, which is uh, remember uh, the uh, uh, the controller, of course, has access to the window, right? So we're just going to say something we did before the window. Uh, dot uh, uh, get uh, get uh, text area right get uh, area to display the elevators and I'll just uh, set text uh, set text and that text will go uh, again to the elevator bank unfortunately some of these things going to become kind of lengthy uh, but like right now at this early stages uh, this is what I what I'll, I'll do right um, get elevator and the elevator right here I'll move it again to this side of things okay right so um, I need to be able to get the floor. Right click, uh, insert code, uh, and we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get uh, a getter for the floor, right? Because it's private, we need to have a method. Again, sometimes it places it at random locations. Uh, I will move it down here. All right, so get floor, and we will be displaying the floor right now just to just to finish this little piece. Get floor, right? Get floor, display, um, uh, and of course uh, this has to be converted to string, right? Um, this is an integer. So I'll just do this little trick. I'll use empty string concatenated with this integer, which will be able to display the integer. Uh, something else that it doesn't like. So let's let's just carefully build this clean and build right, which will display the errors. Error missing return statement. Um, yeah, when we said, we, yeah, we promised to return the elevator, but we never say return, so we just simply say return, 
okay? Return that object from our collection. So we go to the collection and say, hey, do you have elevator number such and such? Yes, I do. Okay, so let's get that reference and return. Okay, so uh, mm, something like this. And so now if I move the elevator, see it goes to floor number two because it was on the first floor initially. Now it appears to be on floor number two, number three, number four, number five, six, and it could go through the roof. Nobody knows how many floors we have. That's a whole other part of the aspect of the business. Um, and I think we've done some work here. I will post the sample on the, on the sample uh, on the sample page for CIS 260, right? Uh, so, uh, but then uh, I think on on Tuesday, what we're going to do is just make sure that it displays something more realistic, maybe just a little bit of animation. We can add a thread, uh, you know, a background thread that actually moves the elevator between multiple floors in little stages. So we'll just experiment with this. But, so so we should have a little bit more fun with, with what we have so far. But at this point, you should begin to realize what it looks like to work within this framework, uh, um, basically model view controller, right? So we we definitely have, um, you know, every, so once again, everything inside the window can only talk to the controller. Everything inside the uh, uh, the model uh, set of business objects can only talk to the controller, and controller will find how to make sure that the view gets updated. So that's about it. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys on Thursday.